Ever wondered how flight attendants manage time zones? With a lifestyle that constantly whirls through different hours of the day, it's a puzzle that keeps on changing. In this video, we're going to delve into the world of flight attendants and their unique time management challenges. We'll explore how they navigate through multiple time zones and the strategies they use to stay ahead of the ticking hands of time. So, fasten your seatbelts and prepare for takeoff. Stick around to learn how these sky warriors keep up with the clock. First off, let's understand what time zones are. Picture the world as a clock. It's divided into 24 slices or segments, each representing an hour of the day. These slices or time zones run from the North Pole to the South Pole, following longitudes. The concept of time zones was proposed by Sir Sanford Fleming in the late 19th century. He suggested that the world be divided into 24 time zones, each 15 degrees of longitude apart. This system was adopted at the International Meridian Conference in 1884, and it's what we use today. Why is this important, especially in aviation? Well, for starters, it helps us keep track of time consistently, no matter where we are in the world. Imagine the confusion if each city had its own local time. Now let's talk about the International Dateline. It's an imaginary line that runs down the middle of the Pacific Ocean at about 180 degrees longitude. It's here where we see the start of a new day. When you cross the International Dateline, you either add or subtract a day, depending on the direction you're traveling. This brings us to jet lag. Jet lag is a temporary sleep disorder experienced by travelers who rapidly cross multiple time zones. It happens because our bodies have a natural rhythm, or internal clock, that tells us when to wake up and when to sleep. This clock gets disrupted when we cross time zones too quickly for our body to adjust. Time zones and jet lag are key considerations for flight attendants. We need to adjust rapidly to different time zones and manage the effects of jet lag to stay alert and provide the best service to our passengers. Now that we know what time zones are, how do flight attendants manage them? Before even stepping on the plane, flight attendants are already managing their time. You see, the art of time management begins well before the takeoff. A flight attendant's work starts hours, sometimes even days before the actual flight. Firstly, they check the destination's time zone. This isn't as simple as glancing at a world clock. Flight attendants need to account for daylight savings and how the destination's time zone will affect their body clock. They need to understand the difference between local time, the time at their home base, and the time at their destination. It's a delicate balancing act, a juggling game of hours and minutes that can make a world of difference to their performance on board. With the destination's time zone in mind, flight attendants then adjust their sleep schedule. This is crucial because they need to be alert and ready to serve passengers at any point during the flight. They might take a nap before an overnight flight, or stay up a little longer to acclimate to a destination in a different time zone. It's all about aligning their internal clocks with the rhythm of their flight schedule. Next comes meal planning. Flight attendants can't just eat whenever they feel like it, they have to plan their meals around their flight schedule. This involves considering when they'll be in the air, when they'll be on the ground, and when they'll have access to food. They usually pack meals and snacks that are easy to eat on the go and can help them maintain their energy levels throughout the flight. It's not just about packing a lunchbox though. Flight attendants need to be mindful of what they eat and drink too. Hydration is key to combating the dry cabin air, and avoiding heavy meals can help prevent jet lag. So, you see, being a flight attendant is a masterclass in time management. It's about planning, adapting, and constantly staying one step ahead. It's about ensuring that no matter where they are in the world, they're always ready to provide the best service possible. Preparation is key, but what happens during the flight? In flight, flight attendants are constantly on their toes and not just serving meals. It's a ballet at 30,000 feet, a dance of time management and adjustment. You see, the moment they step on the plane, flight attendants synchronize their watches to the time zone of their destination. It's like they're already there, mentally preparing for the shift in time and space. This immediate adjustment is crucial. It sets the stage for the rest of the flight and helps them stay one step ahead of jet lag. And let's be honest, no one wants to deal with a jet lagged flight attendant, right? But adjusting the watch is just one piece of the puzzle. Flight attendants have a whole bag of tricks to manage their energy levels. One of them is taking power naps. Those short revitalizing naps are nothing short of magic. They provide a much needed energy boost, especially during long haul flights. And believe me, 
Every minute of shut-eye counts when you're crossing multiple time zones. Now, let's talk food. You might think flight attendants have the luxury of enjoying the same meals they serve to passengers. Well, think again. Their meals are usually light and easy on the stomach. A heavy meal can lead to bloating and discomfort, which is the last thing anyone wants when they're cruising at an altitude of 30,000 feet. These light meals also help in maintaining energy levels. Heavy meals can cause a spike in blood sugar levels followed by a crash, leaving one feeling lethargic. Light meals, on the other hand, provide a steady stream of energy, keeping flight attendants active and alert throughout the flight. So you see, it's a whole orchestra of time management, energy conservation, and adjustment. Flight attendants are not just serving meals and attending passenger needs. They're constantly juggling time, battling jet lag, and trying to stay in top form, all while making sure you have a comfortable flight. But the job isn't over when the flight lands. Post-flight, the time management continues. The moment their feet touch the ground, flight attendants begin yet another phase of their time zone navigation. It's a rhythm that demands adaptability, resilience, and a knack for making the most of every minute. First off, there's the issue of jet lag. As they cross multiple time zones, their internal clocks can get thrown off, leading to fatigue, insomnia, and difficulties concentrating. To combat this, flight attendants often employ a range of strategies. Some adjust their sleep schedules in advance of their flights, while others use light therapy or melatonin supplements to help reset their internal clocks. It's not an exact science, but it's a crucial part of maintaining their health and performance. Next comes rest. It's not just about getting enough sleep, but about ensuring that sleep is restorative. This means creating an environment that promotes deep, uninterrupted sleep. Blackout curtains, earplugs, and even sleep-inducing scents can be part of the toolkit. Flight attendants also often follow a strict sleep schedule, even on their days off, to keep their body clocks in sync. Then, there's the process of preparing for the next flight. This could mean studying the details of the upcoming route, brushing up on language skills, or simply packing their bags. Each flight attendant has their own routine, but the common thread is that preparation starts way before takeoff. It's a continuous cycle of learning, planning, and preparing. Between flights, there's also the need to take care of personal responsibilities and to recharge. This could be anything from catching up with loved ones to hitting the gym, to simply enjoying a quiet moment with a good book. Each flight attendant finds their own balance, their own way of making this demanding lifestyle work for them. And so, the dance continues. From takeoff to touchdown and every moment in between, flight attendants are constantly adjusting, adapting, and navigating the challenges of time zone travel. It's not always easy, but it's a testament to their dedication and resilience. Managing time zones is a constant juggle for flight attendants. So how do flight attendants manage time zones? This question is at the heart of what we've been discussing. Navigating time zones is a tricky task, but with the right knowledge and preparation, it becomes a manageable challenge. We started by understanding time zones themselves, the invisible lines that cut our globe into 24 sections, this understanding is the foundation upon which flight attendants build their time management strategies. The pre-flight phase is all about preparation. Flight attendants plan their sleep, meals, and activities in line with the time zone of their destination. This preparation helps them minimize jet lag and remain alert and energetic during their flight. Once on board, flight attendants continue managing their time by staying hydrated, eating healthy, and taking short naps if possible. It's about maintaining their body clock while also taking care of hundreds of passengers. After landing, they don't just switch off. The post-flight phase involves adjusting to the new time zone, getting adequate rest, and preparing for the next flight. It's a cycle that requires discipline, resilience, and a deep understanding of one's body and its needs. In essence, time zone navigation for flight attendants is a dance of preparation, in-flight management, and post-flight adjustments. It's a testament to their dedication and commitment to ensuring passengers have a comfortable and smooth journey. Next time you're on a flight, remember the work your flight attendants put in to ensure you have a smooth journey. Until next time, safe travels.